Okay, so wanted to do a follow-up on this uh, LG refrigerator. Um, let's see here. Get a good view of it here. This is the uh, counter depth model. And um, the reason I'm doing a re-review of it is that um, there were some problems with the other video, so <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do this one a little bit better. Um, so this is the Counter Depth LG. I'll post the exact model of it. This is the newer style. So it has the uh, touch sensitive instead of the actual buttons for it. Um, this has their linear compressor that is different than what other companies do. If you go and look up how the Samsungs work and how the Whirlpools work, KitchenAids, all that, it's different. Uh, one of the reasons I like LG is because of that technology. It's quite good. Um, I've had this now for over a year. It'll be like coming up on not quite two years, but I've had it for a while. Uh, the main things that I like about it is that it's quiet. It is super, super quiet. That's I returned to Samsung, I returned to Whirlpool um, because they were noisy. When the compressor started to go, um, as in turn on, it would just make all kinds of noise. And this thing is, we have like an open concept house, so you could hear it and it was very annoying. So this um, compact style is very nice and very quiet. So I really like that. Um, I like that this like angle, so it doesn't open on its own. They say that's for like child lock type thing, so that's kind of cool. Um, this finish is really nice. It's held up really well to it. Um, I like the style of these handles. They seem to work quite nicely. And um, yeah, so let's open her up in here. The ice is here. And yes, uh, it is full of my food, and sorry if it's so messy, but uh, this has tons of space in it here. This is the same size up here, and this is the same size down here. There's a little tiny uh, compartment here. Little guy, little apartment in here. Um, the, let's see, where is that? The, I think it's actually right here is where the uh, water filter sits. In the old ones that used to be up here so they changed that um, this is the ice maker here um, i'm going to go ahead and complain about this i did not have it long enough last time to complain about it um, and so you can see it actually right here right now the the ice builds up here and then it doesn't come out of the refrigerator so you have to take this off and smash this ice down and then it works again, but probably once a week I'm opening this up, taking this ice out, smashing it. Now, there's nothing wrong with this. It makes ice just fine and all that just gets stuck here a lot. So uh, that's one thing that I find quite annoying about it. But it works, it mechanically works. There's no problem with it other than that. Um, oh yeah, here's the model you can have a more close-up look here you go and um I so guess it hasn't been like two years but I've had it for over a year and uh yeah so this being uh metal in the back here I like that that's uh for efficiency I guess it helps like hold on to cold um and there's plenty of room even though this is the compact version um, there is a thing, there's a little drawer that opens and closes for high bottles because we have so many, we always keep that out. Um, they put uh, new LED lights in for this year. Um, it's much nicer than what they did before, much brighter in there. This drawer comes in and out. It's pretty nice. I, I wish that there was a way that it could be like split though because I hate having to open both of these doors to pull this out. It's kind of annoying to me but um yeah let's see um what else i guess i guess that's really it for in here and so let's show the other one here this slides out nicely um these things are quite deep um 
they've had no ice build up or anything like that. They're uh, just fine. And this slides in and out, and this slides in and out. There is an ice maker down right here. Uh, we don't use it because uh, we don't need that much ice, but we have, and it's worked just dandy. Nice light that comes down into here. And yeah, and yeah, like I said, we've had this for a while. This is nice and robust. And I've had no problems with it. Um, the side is not stainless steel, um, but it is magnetic. So that's nice. I think the, yeah, even the um, stainless steel part is magnetic as well. So you can see. There you go. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been very good. I would definitely recommend people uh, give this a try. Um, I'm going to address, like, somebody in the other video, like, made some comment about lawsuits well look up every single manufacturer look up whirlpool look up samsung they all have class action lawsuits about something like um whirlpool's just overall reliability samsung's their ice makers suck even worse than lg's so yeah i don't know what you're talking about with that um i mean it's like anything everybody sues everybody so I'm just telling you my experience. My experience is this thing's been great, and I've had it for all going a little over a year and a half. Um, it'll be two years in a few months. So, um, yeah, really like it. Would definitely recommend it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.